I'm so sorry to see that uh, the Chancellor's brother has died, Charlie Hunt. He was 53. He was diagnosed with sarcoma in 2020. And it was only a short while ago that uh, the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, was saying that my brother is doing okay. But like many families who have cancer, it's a life-changing thing, absolutely. And cancer is quite a frightening disease to face. And uh, there's always this sort of scare going on in your mind that it may have come back if it's been removed. Um, you know, you, you wait for the next scan. And with an NHS which is so utterly unreliable, you don't know when that next scan is coming. You wait for a letter. It doesn't happen. You, you, you pass your, you know, the, 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 the point at which you expect to be hearing nothing. You think, do I call? What do I say? What do I do? Um, it's bad enough living with that diagnosis, uh, let alone having the uncertainty of uh, the present NHS. And uh, and equally then going into hospital, having treatment and finding that it's soiled with error, demonstrable error at that. We need to we need to reassure people in this country that when it comes to serious illness, we have it covered because it's bad enough facing that serious illness on its own, let alone having to do so through the prism of a, uh, a malfunctioning health service. So, uh, two things. Number one, my condolences to Jeremy Hunt. And uh, number two, uh, a, a, a firm statement about the, the, the need for the NHS to get its act together. Uh, because it's got, again, it's got very little to do with strikes. It's to do with the structure of the NHS and the structure of the NHS is deeply wrong, where bureaucrats are paid more than doctors and nurses. And I mean, when, when did you last hear of bureaucrats from the NHS going out on strike? Hmm. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen because they're paid very comfortably. For doing what? And what is their background? They don't communicate with other hospitals. They are the people who are making the mistakes. So come on, we have to get our finger out and we have to get the NHS working and we have to hear far fewer of these stories of family tragedy and family loss because it can be dealt with. Uh, cancer does not need to be a life sentence or a death sentence. It doesn't need to be that. It just needs to be something that we're living with.